This noontime, Rhode Island has its first Republican candidate for governor for campaign 2018. House Minority Leader Patricia Morgan announcing her candidacy early this morning, releasing a campaign video. Now more than ever, we need that grounded leadership and a clear vision and strategy of what needs to be fixed to guide our ocean state back to prosperity. And in her announcement video, she talks about her love for the ocean state. On her website, she cites the need to reduce taxes, eliminate fraud and abuse in state spending, and improve the state's school system. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado spoke to Morgan just this morning, joins us now with more. Brian, Patricia Morgan is the first female minority leader here at the State House, where she's been a vocal critic of the state's first female governor, Gina Raimondo, and now she hopes to unseat her next year. As governor, your best interest will be my first priority. In a video, Republican Minority Leader Patricia Morgan officially launches her campaign for governor. I think I can help average Rhode Islanders live better lives. As a state rep, Morgan has made a name for herself as the leader of the opposition at the state house. It earned her the top job on the Republican side as minority leader. Her platform is focused on growing the economy. We have a lot of problems here and I think it exists because we've had bad policies for a long time and we need to go back and reform those bad policies. Morgan says if elected governor, she would stop the truck tolls slated to begin soon to raise money to fix roads and bridges and she says she opposes the Paw Sox stadium deal because taxpayer money is involved. I'd love the Paw Sox to stay here but it is a private business. There's a lot more work to do but I know that 17,000 people have jobs now that didn't when I started. Governor Gina Raimondo says she plans to launch her re-election campaign next year. The fact is we've gone from bottom of the barrel worst economy in America to a thriving economy with people working, and I say we just keep going. Before Morgan can challenge Raimondo, she is likely to face Cranston Mayor Alan Fung in the Republican primary. Former Republican State Rep Joe Trillo has also publicly said he's considering a run. And Alan Fung's campaign said this morning they will have a special announcement about his future plans tomorrow. And I just got off the phone with Republican Joe Trillo, who says he is 99% in the race, but not ready to formally announce yet. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.